Okay, uh, this is another little news update. I'm already adding a lot of notes up from my little rollout videos, meaning talking about issues. And I'm putting some of those notes in on tomorrow's post, which will be like a big teaching post, the Sunday sermon, a lot of scriptures that for the last few days and all. <laughs> I actually found some of the stuff I taught about the... Uh, Wil William Wilberforce and uh, discussing the abolitionists. Now, I want you to say, I think uh, I read some recent statements now from Trump and all. I think that they sabotage to the point where you're not going to get uh, legal protection for the dreamers, okay? I believe that's probably what's now happened. As I listen to the language, my position, those who watch my videos, has always been pro-immigrant. My history here in South Texas, when I first started doing ministry, it was from Kingsville, all my years of the fire department. And the majority, if not 100% of our church people, the little church I started, and going to the jails and preaching, were all Hispanics, or all, if we say, Mexican-Americans, okay? And that was... That the, was the ministry. Some of those families, they had histories of illegals coming into the country for many, many years. Some of those families, uh, they provide like food. They knew there were certain areas here in South Texas where they came in and they were on these long treks, you know, to make it to this country. And uh, my view has been formed from my experience to reach out and so forth. But now look at some of the mindsets. I'm going to speak now to every liberal, as well as I don't mean to offend my liberal friends, but I want to speak to every liberal, every Color Times editorial writer, reporter, all of the Democrats that I've heard statements not only in the last few days, but for the last few years. And the statements go along these lines. The building of a border wall or a barrier. Even statements from Pope Francis, okay, who's liberal, and I like Pope Francis. But a lot of statements have been the simple message of a barrier or of preventing others to come to a place where they're seeking freedom and opportunity. The simple message of a wall is in itself either a racist message or it's a message to your neighbor, we don't want you, and so forth. And then I've also heard statements, as a matter of fact, last week, where Democrats have said things like, we are strong for border security, but what we want is to pump more money into the Border Patrol agents, to have more Border Patrol vehicles, let me ask you this question, liberals, Kohler Times and everybody. Why are you so anti-immigrant? Don't you understand that what you're advocating for is more money for police or agents to stop people from coming into this country that are just seeking benefit, they're distressed, they just want help? And all of you Democrats who I've heard you say recently in the last week, we want more Border Patrol. Why are you so racist against the Hispanics? I'm asking my Democratic friends that, meaning in the media here. Why do you hate them so much? Why would, don't you understand the message when some woman and her children are trying to seek freedom and they're coming from Mexico into Texas? Don't you realize Democrats call her times? Don't you realize they need help? And you're advocating for more money for police to brutally stop those people? How could you be so cold-hearted? How could you advocate? How could you even be for any border patrol? Because it, that sends a message to people who are struggling. And the message is, we are going to stop you by force with armed agents. And I'm just showing you the stupidity 
of not doing something because instead you've taken all those same arguments and you've transitioned them against the wall because the wall has become a symbol now. And then you've used all those same arguments against a wall. If you are against the wall, and I've heard the different arguments, even in the open meeting Mr. Trump had with uh, the leaders of Congress the other day, some of those arguments were even made like openly. That, you know, the wall, and then they say, but we want secure borders. Why do you want them? Why do you want to prevent people from coming into this country who are desperate? Because that's what every one of you caller times, media, talking heads, that's what every one of you are for. Not realizing there's really no big distinction. The issue then becomes, do you want open borders? Some advocate for that. Or do you want secure borders? And every one of you, Democrats that I've heard the last few weeks, leadership in the media, that have said, we are for strong border security. I've heard those statements multiple times. And so I could just say to you, that means you are against these innocent migrants coming into this country. And you want to put armed police to prevent these young children from coming in with their parents. And you are just as, you know, racist by that view. It's, it's the way politics are played in this country. And you could explain it a million times, they won't get it. Even in the short clip I saw when Trump sat down with the leaders last week, one of them was making a case, I forget his name, he, I'm sure he's sincere. He was a Democrat, maybe Gonzalez, and he was trying to show Trump, and he said, look, there's areas where we do have the fencing in the wall, which is true. And he tried to show Trump, and I know he's convinced of his argument, and he said, we have more people coming in through the areas where there are fences and borders right now than the other areas. And he was trying to make that honest argument, and I'm sure he's convinced of that. But his argument was basically, when you put up the barrier, it actually encourages more illegal immigration. But actually, okay, the reason the walls or fences have been put up in those areas over these last many years is because those were high areas where people passed through for a whole lot of other reasons. Terrain coming from Mexico and terrain in, when you get into Texas. That's why they put them up in those areas. And the putting up of the walls or barriers in those areas was not attracting. Those were already famous thoroughfares, okay? That's just common sense. All right? And then Trump actually answered correctly when they were grilling him about it. They said, look at Mexico. And this was a short clip, and it was true what he said. But some said that they were making, some Democrats were making their argument Let's learn the lesson from Mexico. The crossover from into Mexico from uh, South uh, Central American countries coming in, heading to the United States, coming to our country, and the last stop is they come from the border of Mexico into Mexico, go through Mexico, and come through California, Texas border. And one of them honestly said, these are now leadership in our country, one said, let's learn the Mex. Me message from Mexico. They have not increased, they have built a wall and they've not really increased border security along their border and it's drastically gone down. Now that person was honest, he was a democratic leader and Trump simply responded, he said, but the reason that has happened is because they knew that the U.S. has actually tightened security along the Mexico-U.S. border. Now Trump was actually correct when he said that. But that sincere Democrat said, let's learn the lesson. It's just drastically slowed down, and that, but that's why. And I, all I would say to every, every person, and I've heard this argument for the last few years, every person that has said a wall is something that is a barrier that's telling other people, women, 
kids, people who are struggling, the wall is telling them that you're not welcome. But what do you think a Border Patrol agent with a gun tells them? And many of you who are making this argument are actually saying, I've heard it this last week, we want increased guns. Isn't that a hypocrisy? Many of the Democrat and liberal view are saying more Border Patrol. And what does that mean? More armed men are the solution. What would I prefer one of my kids if they were in a struggle and they were trying to come to a country where they could live? Would I want them to face a wall or an armed cop? Would I want more fences that they might have to climb over? Or would I want more armed cops that they might actually get shot by? You, it, it just takes about 20 minutes for you to just look at the arguments you have made. So we could say today that both the Caller Times, local media, Democratic leaders in this area, they have all, as far as I know, they have all advocated for strong borders and increased guns. So let that, let that be known, that the Caller Times, the liberals, and the media all believe that the answer is more guns, because that's what they're saying. We'll put more money into guns and border patrol that might have to possibly shoot these innocent people coming in, just seeking help. But you seem to think that's good? Think.